Welcome back to Channel 5 News at noon. Well, since this morning, the winds have picked back up again, mainly out of the southeast this afternoon. Between about oh, 16 and 21 miles per hour. In Westlaco, we're seeing wind gusts near 25 miles per hour. Uh, but it's just kind of like yesterday, just not as windy as yesterday. It was really powerful, up near 30 and 35 mile per hour wind gusts. We're not that strong this afternoon. A live look outside, courtesy of Sky 5, shows a decent amount of cloud cover overhead with little spots of sunshine here in there, so we're calling it partly sunny for this afternoon, and we're definitely warming up. We're at 84 degrees right now here in Westlaco, and we're only going to get warmer from here. Check it out. Your day planner forecast shows it will reach a high of 88 degrees by 3 o'clock this afternoon with partly sunny skies. Still a little breezy, becoming less breezy by the early evening as that cold front gets closer to the valley. It'll also have a good amount of moisture with it. So we're going to call for a few spotty to scattered showers in the forecast, especially as the night goes on. That shower activity will increase. So let me show you this cold front. It's almost here. It's getting closer to deep south Texas, uh, but a lot of the heavy rain again is still staying to the north and east. We're just building up enough moisture to have some scattered showers and maybe even possibly a thunderstorm. Zooming out and getting a look at the bigger picture with this system, it's just draped all the way up into the Great Lakes. Lakes, keeping a lot of that heavy rain potential uh, all the way in the central eastern, all the way to the east coast for the next day or so as the system continues to push east. Now behind me in the Pacific Northwest, we have another system that is putting a lot of moisture uh, at the coastline of California all the way up into uh, Washington. You see that here's northern California, Oregon, and Washington, and you see that there's a good amount of heavy rain at the coast, but as that heavy rain moves inland and it goes over over the mountain ranges, it actually turns into heavy snow, and that's going to be the scenario for the next couple of days and where they have a lot of winter weather watches and advisories and warnings already in place in those particular areas. Now looking at the convective outlook across the United States, you see this big green streak here that covers the southeastern United States and a bullseye just outside uh, the boot of Louisiana. But back at home, the, what we have to contend with is nothing severe. We're just in that general thunderstorm category. So that tells that us with any passing shower, there could also be a thunderstorm at times. Let's look at future track. Let's talk the clock at noon. Still very breezy this afternoon, but it will subside later on this evening as that front gets closer. Now, I haven't drawn the front on here because I want you to kind of pay attention more so to the rain. So you see that pops of green start to really show up, especially as the night gets older. So here we go. We're going into midnight and one o'clock into the next morning. You'll notice those scattered showers start to fall into place in car across the rest of the valley after starting first in the upper valley and then progressing toward the coast as the night goes on. So we're going to keep a good chance for rain in the forecast tomorrow. This is nine o'clock tomorrow morning. You can bet the roads will be a little bit slick, but as far as constant heavy rain is concerned. It doesn't look like anything what we had this past weekend. So our rain chances for tomorrow are at 40%, 20% for later on this evening. And then we'll keep small rain chances in the forecast each afternoon with a shower or a thunderstorm possible. Your rain chances are between 30 and 40% all the way through the end of the work week. As we head into the weekend, it looks like things start to shape up but we do have another cold front, which I'll show you in a second. So here's how this front impacts us. We'll keep the rain chances all the way through the end of the work week. Your temperatures go down just a smidge. So we're 88 today, 69 tomorrow tonight, and then tomorrow we rebound to 80 degrees. We'll stay in the lower 80s through Friday and even the upper 70s. That's about average for this time of year. As we head into the weekend, we'll slowly taper off the rain chances by Sunday, okay? It looks like this system, uh, this next cold front will move through over the weekend, and that could have a few showers with it that could persist for Sunday, but for the most part, we'll see gradual clearing into next week and temperatures will return to the mid 80s. Your overnight lows will stay in the mid to lower 60s for the next seven nights. That's your updated first one five forecast. Stay with us. Channel 5 News at noon. We'll be right back.